Check this out. This is the Tyro 79 Pro. This is a three inch FPV drone kit that costs about $130 and it comes with all the parts that you need to build this. So this is the Tyro 79 Pro, and this is the successor to the Tyro 79, which was Iashin's flagship FPV drone kit. This comes as a kit, so you do have to build this yourself. It's really not that difficult. I was gonna film a build video for this, but Justin from Drone Camps actually has an awesome tutorial for building this drone, so I'll leave a link to his build video down below. This kit is currently on sale for $130, and the only additional thing that you'll need to buy is a receiver and a battery. Obviously you need a controller and goggles too, but as far as the drone goes, you'll just need a battery and a receiver. There are a couple changes between this drone and the original Tyro 79, so let's quickly go over all the parts that are in this one. The flight controller that's in this kit is an F411 35 amp all-in-one board. This has the BMI270 gyro on it and is capable of 2 to 4S input. I think this is the main difference between the original Tyro 79 and the Tyro 79 Pro. The original Tyro 79 had a stack instead of an all-in-one board like this, and that one had 20 amps while this one has 35 amps. So it's a little bit more powerful. Um, this all-in-one is running BL Heli S on the ESCs and has a 20 by 20 mounting pattern. It's a little difficult to see, but sitting above the flight controller, you have the VTX. The VTX that comes on this is an XF5805 400 milliwatt VTX. So this one is a little bit more powerful than the one that was on the original Tyro 79. That one was only capable of 200 milliwatts. It comes with a plug for the VTX, so it's a little less soldering, but for some reason it doesn't have a cable for smart audio. There is a data pin on the VTX, so you can always solder a wire right on that data pad and then hook it up to a TX pad on your uh, flight controller and you'll have smart audio. The camera that's included is a Runcam Nano 2. This is a 700 TVL camera and it is variable, so you can rotate it to whatever uh, tilt you'd like. This may be a slight upgrade from the last camera since it's run cam, but it's still a 700 TVL just like the old one, so you'll probably be getting about the same image quality. The motors that come on this drone are the exact same motors that came on the original Tyro 79. They're Iashin branded 1607 2800KV 2 to 4S brushless motors. Um, I personally hate motors that do this, but these are the kind of motors that have like two nuts that spin clockwise and then two that spin counterclockwise. I hate it. I would much rather just have four nuts that spin on uh, clockwise and call it a day but that's how these work and you can't really get around it because that's just the thread on there um, another thing i don't really like about these motors is i don't know why iashin is using this type of shielding on their motor wires but it's almost like a plastic around it it's really difficult to splice and trim these i was able to solder them on but just be careful because they do break very easily the frame that's included is the exact same frame that's on the original Tyro 79. It's a three inch, uh, 140 millimeter carbon fiber frame. So you have this bottom plate right here and then you have uh, two carbon fiber plates and then a metal bracket that just kind of sits on top of um, all the electronics in here, kind of protects it. The battery mounts down bottom, giving it actually a pretty nice center of gravity. I'm sure you could mount like an action camera, like an Insta360 Go or a naked GoPro or something up here. Otherwise the battery mounts on the bottom. So like I mentioned, this doesn't come with a receiver. It does come with this little sled that kind of sits above the VTX here. I have one of my ELRS receivers in there right now, but you can pretty much fit whatever receiver you want. It comes with some other TPU parts too. You got this little thing back here that kind of holds all the antennas. And then you also have these little skids. And these don't really do much because since this is a bottom mounted battery, when you land the drone, you're gonna be I mean, you're going to have a battery here and then these aren't going to be touching the ground at all. So it's kind of useless, but I guess it looks nice. So that's cool. I guess if you planned on mounting the battery on the top, then these would make sense. But if you get the battery down bottom, like I do, they don't really do anything. The battery connector that's included is an XT30. So just make sure you have an XT30 battery. And in the flight footage that you're about to see, I was using this 720 um, RDQ 720 milliamp 4S LiPo. So let's take this thing outside and see how it flies.
So that's the Tyro 79 Pro. I didn't do any tuning to it. That flight was just stock PIDs and it really didn't perform that bad. Um, I definitely think that this could handle a naked GoPro or an Insta360 Go if you wanted to get more cinematic footage. Um, the total weight of this drone without a battery weighs 157 grams and then when you add a 720 battery like this, you're looking at 223. So you could probably fit an action camera on there and still potentially be under the uh, 250 gram limit. So that's nice. I never got a chance to try out the original Tyro 79, but I'm sure this performs about the same since it has the same motors and a slightly bigger ESC. I think if you're looking for a beginner kit, it's not a bad choice. Just be aware that you'll need to get a receiver and a battery to use it. Also just be aware of these motor wires. Uh, these really threw me off the most. They are difficult to deal with and they snap very easily. Otherwise, once you have it all built up, it really doesn't fly too bad. I was getting about four to five minutes of flight with this battery, and I bet you could honestly use something like an 850, and you could probably get a little bit more battery life. So if you enjoyed this video, make sure you subscribe to the channel, leave the video a like, and if you have any questions about the Tyro 79 Pro, leave a comment down below.